Today I got in my NZXT Grid Plus B2. Going to be switching out my current fan controller, which is the V1, because I don't like not being able to control my fans individually. I just put in the other week, and I made a video. Eventually, I get around to editing it. The Corsair H1R GTX, and the software doesn't allow you to take the fans down below 25 percent, and they're actually kind of annoying. Uh, that uh, percentage setting, so I'm going to uh, drop this in. Not going to be much of an upgrade or much of an install video because all I'm doing is putting this one in the place of the very V1. But uh, let's see how she does and hopefully quiet down my PC a little bit and make me happy. So I've got the 240 millimeter exhaust fans here on the radiator for the Corsair H110. Got 140 millimeter exhaust here for intake. I've got two 140 millimeters up here. The two NZXT 120 millimeters for supply. Uh, got two 140 millimeter, and all those guys other than the NZXTs are the Corsairs. And I know it's a little overkill with the fans, but you know if you have more fans, you can run them at a lower RPM and have a quieter machine. In addition, I also Cut a hole in the side panel for the PC and modded that Corsair 120 millimeter SP fan in as well to you know pull some of the air from right on the graphics cards. Not that they're super high-end graphics cards, but you know, I like to keep them cool. Other than showing off my complete shit show of cable management on this backside, I do have the Grid Plus version one mounted up right here. In the SSD slot, I'm going to be switching that out and running actually more than six of the fans off the new one. Be wiring in the uh, two radiator fans, but having that ability to control each fan independently is something I would very much like. This isn't really an install video, but you shouldn't really need an install video for something as simple as this. You get your uh, Grid Plus controller. It comes with the 3M you know, Velcro replacement, it's this stuff, dual lock, you can use it or not if you want, you know, I put it uh, on here, I need to stick it right to that SSD tray, but all you have is your header for USB, your power hooks up to a Molex, or say, I can't remember which, could be, could be either way, uh, now on either side, we got three, three pin fan ports there, and three on this side, so you plug it in, plug your fans in, and you're good to go. Uh, also comes with some niceties. Let's get this tray out. All right, so all right, it's a Molex, not SATA, but it comes with the uh, cable ties. But the big thing for what I'm looking at for using are these uh, splitters. So you, it's a dongle. You can run two fans from one port. So I'll probably be doing that for the top two radiator fans here, and probably these two intakes. One thing I don't like about this MSI board is the fan control through the software on the uh, motherboard. Uh, you can't put it below 50%, so those are always going to be running pretty high. Mm -hmm. Do it up, plug it up, see how it turns out. Got it all wired up. So the current configuration, I've got... These two fans run together, these two fans run together, these two fans run together, these two fans run together. So that's four of my uh, channels right there. And then this exhaust and the exhaust over here I've got run independently. And then I just left a tail stubbed out so I can get the one on the side panel as I put the cover back on. Got all booted up, opened up NZXT's CAM software, um, immediately saw that I had a new product in there and loaded the appropriate screen here. You can see I've already gone through and changed the names of uh, the fan channels, but I did that. I just dropped the RPMs to zero on them, found out you know which ones they were and just labeled them appropriately. Uh, you can set different profiles for each channel. 
simply here. Like I've got a GPU set up here, so they're completely off until down here. You know, I'm not going to do that right now, but for instance, like uh, the GPU coolers ones, that's these guys right here. You know, I can set that one for GPU mode, and you won't have GPU mode. I just I made that one, but it ramps up as they uh, get hotter. You can take and switch it to read from the GPUs instead of reading from the CPU, which I'm a big fan of. I'm uh, I'm really happy with NZXT. Uh, you know, I've been my case is an NZXT Source 530, and I had the first Grid V1 and this Grid V2, and I'm I'm definitely happy. I'll probably be purchasing more from them in the future. Um, not so happy with Corsair, but that's a different story. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can see in here that I have my old H60 cooler in there on that. I didn't have an updated picture. But, yeah, so I've got uh, these two guys looped into one channel. i got these two guys in one channel. These two in one channel. Currently, what would be these two in one channel? This one in its own, and the one that would be right here on the case in its own as well. Well, that's it. Have a good one, humans.